guys, we're in Lisbon. Today is our second night and we're super excited. Now, we were told that Lisbon is famous for their pastéis de nata. So, pastéis de nata is a Portuguese egg custard dessert. And all of Portugal goes crazy over these little egg custards. And Diego and I were told that the best pastéis de nata is in Belém. And it is a pastisseria called Pastes de Belém. Um, you cannot miss it. It is right next to the monastery called... It's called Geronimo's Monastery. And one tip that we were told and we're sharing with you guys is to be there early. Be there super early. They open up at 8 o'clock on most mornings. So definitely check it out. We got there around a little bit after 9 and we didn't have to wait online. We went inside, sat down, and we had our order in. Uh, we had two of the custard, two of the pastéis de natas, and we also had a hot chocolate and a latte. What did you think, Alicia? So, the pastéis de natte was delicious. It was a warm, smooth egg custard inside and a flaky crust. I thought it was delicious. So, they tell you to either add a little bit of cinnamon uh, or some powdered sugar. I prefer without both. And I put both. <laughs> <laughs> we still thought it was delicious, whichever way you want to try it. That's up to you guys. We're not going to judge. Don't judge us, please. Okay? So then we were talking and we realized this was our first pastéis de nata ever. So who's to say, was this the best in Lisbon? So today we're going to take you on a little tour. We went to a bunch of different pastéis around Lisbon. And we're going to taste test them with you guys and see how it goes. Let you know what we think, okay? We'll let you know. Hope you like it. So first up guys, we have the pastelaria from name Paul. So we're going to give it a try right now. Okay, babe. Mm. That's some good custard right there. A little bit sweeter than the first one. So this one definitely is sweeter to us than Pastelleria de, uh, de Belém. Still delicious though. Mm. Okay, we got tons more so. We got Check it more. Out. Okay, now this one love is from Nata de Lisboa. Okay, Nata de Lisboa. Cheers. Cheers, babe. Mm. Mm. I'd say this one has like a little bit more um, cinnamon notes in it. I definitely pick up the cinnamon hints on this. Mm. Not so much sugary. And just to let you guys know, we haven't added any cinnamon or any powdered sugar to any of these. This is just straight as they came from the mm. pastelaria, how you're going to taste them. Okay. Solid. Solid. Okay, next one up is Fabrica Nata. Fabrica Nata. Hmm. Nice flaky crust on this one. I like the custard, it's not sweet. It's not so sweet. Not too it's sweet. It's not overpowering, it's not too rich. So it's just right for me. I would agree with that. Mm. Okay. Cheers. Now, last one we have is Casa Chinesa. Okay, last one, babe. Last one, Casa Chinesa. Thank you, guys. Mm. It's a thicker custard, I feel. Same good sweet taste. I'd say that the, the crust is a little bit less flaky. So I would I would actually um, disagree with that. Oh really? I think I, I do agree with you about the custard. I think that the the layers are actually thicker in this one. Um, Except the woman is always right. <laughs> uh, still delicious though, guys. <laughs> so we tried a few of them for you guys. We told you about um, the pastelaria de Belen. Now it's up to you guys uh, to go out and taste them. Go and explore Lisbon. 
that's what we did for you guys. So these are just some of the spots. Again, it's Casa Chinesa, is Fabrica de Nata, Nata de Lisbon, and Paul's. These are all the bakeries that we went and we tried out and we loved every single one. So what did you think was the best? Uh, my favorite one is actually Nata de Lisboa. I like a little bit more cinnamon. It's not overpowering. It's not too sugary. It was just right. The sweetness was just right. Well, and I, I think that I have to go with um, Nata de Belém. Really? Yeah, I think that that first one was it. Okay. So, guys, go out there. If you're going to go to uh, Pastelaria de Belém, make sure you go there early. Uh, it's close to the monastery and tons of other monuments there for you guys to check out and explore. It's not going to disappoint. And if you're around other parts of Lisbon, definitely try these out if you don't want to take the trip out to Belém. Any pasta seria will not disappoint. Okay? All right, guys. Bye, guys. Check you later.